Tesla reported a really good quarter Wednesday night that's likely going to lead to about a 20% increase in my fair value estimate. I had been expecting some pretty good numbers on the back half of 2018 as Model 3 production and deliveries ramped up. Uh, but honestly, the scale, in particular the free cash flow generation, was really impressive. Uh, they generated $881 million in free cash flow. That was about a $1.6 billion improvement from second quarter, but also a $2.2 billion improvement from the burn they had in third quarter last year. Model 3 momentum is just really hot right now, and it's going to probably continue into the fourth quarter. It was really interesting to see Tesla disclose that over, about over half of the vehicles that get traded in to buy a Model 3 were priced under $35,000. Uh, at the time of their purchase. Now, obviously, there's a time value money component that uh, Tesla's ignoring, but the, the, as, I, as Elon talked about in the second quarter results, the top five trading vehicles are vehicles like the Prius, uh, Honda Civic, Nissan Leaf, also a BMW 3 Series. A lot of these vehicles are really more from uh, what we call volume segments or mass market segments rather than purely from a, a 3 Series Mercedes C-Class Audi A3, A4 customer. So there, there's a lot of mass market appeal for a premium vehicle that the Model 3 really is. It's not a cheap vehicle. Um, so I think the momentum there is going to continue for a while. Also, they'll be moving the Model 3 deliveries into Europe and Asia in 2019. So there's a lot of positive things about Tesla right now. And I, their $3 billion cash balance makes me pretty comfortable now about their ability to pay off that uh, convertible debt that comes due in March of $920 million. Um, also, though, let's keep, just keep in mind there's good momentum now. It remains to be seen how this will all carry into 2019 and a recession. Um, mitigating that somewhat is that the Model 3 will be, deliveries will be moved and expanded into Europe and Asia. Uh, but at the same time, if consumers really start to get truly panicked and scared, they're going to be very hesitant to buy what can be a forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar $60,000 car. Um, also interesting longer term is just going to be the, the emergence of Tesla's autonomous business. They've got a new uh, hardware software update coming in, version 9.0, really soon. And ultimately, they want to compete with the likes of Uber and Lyft with autonomous ride hailing, where a subtle difference will be that if you own a Tesla personally, you're going to be able to allow your vehicle to go into the Tesla fleet while you're not using it and make some extra money. It remains to be seen how that's all going to uh, shake out, how big it's going to be, and how many uh, Tesla owners will really be willing to let someone else use their vehicle for many hours at a time while they don't need it. Thank you.